Welcome back guys. Now in this video we are going to learn about directives. Now there are three directives in Angular 2. The first one is a component which we have been learning all along. The second one is a structural directive which we are going to learn in this video. And the third one is attribute directives which we are going to learn in the next video. Now this video we are going to be focusing on learning structural directives which are responsible for DOM manipulation in Angular 2. Now there are three built-in structural directives and the first one is the ngif directive. So let us understand with an example how ngif works. So here in my class I'm going to create a new property called show element and assign it true. Now back here in my template I'm going to create a new paragraph tag and then close the paragraph tag let's just type it let's just type show element okay now directives are going to live within the HTML tag kind of like a custom attribute so here within our paragraph tag we use the syntax star ngif which is the ngif directive and for this we are going to assign the show element property so show element so the ngif accepts a boolean value to make a piece of dom appear or disappear based on this value so right now our show element is true so when we save it and the browser is re reloaded it is going to display our paragraph so show element now the same if I change true to false here in entry if it is going to be evaluated to false and the paragraph is going to be hidden and there you go we don't see the show element text in our view anymore now the second structural directive we are going to learn about is ng switch now just like programming languages where we use switch cases to execute some code based on a certain condition in Angular 2, we use ng-switch to display or hide DOM elements based on a certain condition. So to understand ng-switch, let me create a new property called color and assign it red as the color. Now back in our HTML, let me create a new div tag. So div and then close the div tag. Now within our div tag again we are going to be using ng switch and the syntax is within square brackets we are going to be using ng switch and on the right hand side what it has to be evaluated against so here the property is going to be color so based on what the color is let us show or hide certain paragraphs so create a new paragraph now again within the paragraph tag Again, this is part of the ng switch directive. We use star ng switch when. Now, this is again going to take a value on the right hand side, and this is a string value red. Uh, red color is shown, or the red paragraph is shown. So let me just copy this so that we can have another color. So instead of red, let's make it blue and let's say that the blue color is shown and finally we can also have a default case so ng switch default when none of the colors match let's just say invalid color okay so now what happens is that we have our color property red so in the div tag ng switch is equal to color so color is replaced by red and in the paragraphs it is going to check what the color is since it is red the first paragraph is going to be displayed and the remaining paragraphs are not going to be displayed so if I have a look at the browser it says red color is shown or the red paragraph is shown now if I change this to blue and save it then we have blue color is shown as the paragraph blue color is shown and finally let's change it to green let's save it and it says invalid color which is the default condition or the default case 
So there you go, that's how ng-switch works. And finally, we have the ng4 directive, which is a repeater directive. So let's say if we have a list of items, or for example, a list of colors that need to be displayed, then what we are going to do is define a block of HTML to display just a single color. And then Angular is going to work its magic and repeat this HTML element for each of the item in that array. So again, let me show you with an example so that you can understand more easily. So let's create an array of colors. So colors is equal to red, let's have blue, and let's have green. Now let's try to display these items in our HTML. So underneath the div tag, we are going to have an unordered list of items, so ul and ul. Now in our unordered list, we are going to use the li tag to specify each item. So li and then li. Now usually we would have three li tags to display each of these colors. But by using the ng4 directive, which has the syntax star ng4, let me change this to star ng4, is equal to let color of colors, I'm going to explain this in a moment, interpolation color. Now save this and when the browser is reloaded you have an unordered list of the colors array. So how this works is that for each item in this colors array we are going to iterate it and each time we are iterating we are going to assign it to color. So in the first iteration, it's going to be red, then it is going to change to blue, and then it is going to change to green. And then we are going to use interpolation to actually output the value to our view. So ng4 is a repeater directive, which is going to iterate through the elements of a list, and then you can perform some operations based on each of the item in that list. So these are the three main built-in directives or structural directives in Angular 2. In the next video, we are going to learn about attribute directives, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you're enjoying the videos. I'll see you in the next one.